Hello and welcome to a mini episode where we will be exploring the gold saucer. This should be fun. Uh, let's see here. Well healed youth. It could happen to you. Do be careful with those. Break anything and I shall be forced to deduct it from your salary. Beg pardon? What is my loyal manservant carrying? Why, a not-so-small fortune in prizes, ably won by yours truly at the Gold Saucer. You have heard of the Gold Saucer. Nay? Ye gads, woman! You might at least try to keep up with the times. It's only the Sultanate's newest and finest place of entertainment. Thrilled at the sight of majestic birds roaring down the straits at the Chocobo races. Pitch your wits against the piers of the Triple Triad tables. At the Gold Saucer, one can do all this and more. And if you know what you're, you're about, you'll walk out a wealthier woman than you entered. If there's a better place to shake off one's cares after a grueling day of promending, I've never heard of it. Did I mention the prizes? Ah, but I dare say you'd rather discover them for yourself. Yet, yeah, yeah, yes, I'll wager you're wondering just how in Thal's good name you can experience the wonders of the gold saucer firsthand. Am I right or am I right? Ha, huh, I thought as much. Well, since this has been my lucky day, I don't see why it shouldn't be yours too. I just so happen to have, have a spare golden airship ticket, you see. Consider it a gift from me, from me to you, milady. Just have that ticket to... Just show that ticket to the fine lady over at the landing and you'll have a seat on the next airship bound for revelry and riches. Be fairly warned, though. You may expect no mercy from me should our pa paths cro cross at the triple triad tables. Nay, not so much as an ounce. <laughs> let's see here. Let's go back to the Aetherite Plaza. Recognize that name. Alright. Here's the landing. This is a reception desk for flights bound for the Mandeville Gold Saucer. Before proceeding, I must ask you to submit, for, submit your ticket for inspection. Ahem, you do have a ticket, yes? I do indeed. It appears that everything is in order. An airship will be departing shortly before the next bell. Shall I reserve a seat for you? Yes, please do. There it is, the gold saucer. It does look way better at night, though. <laughs> the Mandeville Gold Saucer. Quest complete. Now oh, there's more to it though. The Mandeville Gold Saucer is now accessible. Yes, yes, and all about MGP. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, there is a gate happening. Leap of faith. Ooh. 
Alright. Oh, we'll have to do that once we get back from Leap of Faith. Oop. And I might want to attune to this Aetherite. Think you have what it takes to hop, skip, and jump your way to victory? Then step right up and try your luck at the Leap of Faith. And if you're feeling especially daring, we've placed several trophies through the course. Reach them before you clear the finish line, and the re your reward will be that much hot greater. Yep. Which one have we got? Ah. This one. This one I can do. Well, it looks like there's a few people here. the start. Thankfully, this is not a race. Oh, I hate that jump. Yes, I will. And a couple of achievements. Okay, let's see here. What were the achievements for exactly? Uh, obtain a Gilded Cactar. Gate Leap of Faith. Right. Get that eighth right shard. Oh, hello, Rick.
Blue Koji. Alright. Welcome, welcome, fair traveler. Care to test your luck with the mini cat ticket? Yes, I will. Splendid, miss. Now allow me to explain. Mini Cackpot is a game of chance, available for, available to you thrice every day. Playing the simplicity yourself. Just guess the value of the covered numbers to, to win it big. If Nami's Grace is with you, you'll be rewarded with Metabot Gold Sauce Reports galore. So, miss, do you feel lucky? See if I can win. That one. Oh. Well. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, 144. It's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Hmm. Well, I can't get the one, two, three, but I can get that one next, be second best. Thirty-six hundred. All right. This one. Yeah. Uh, I need thirty six. I need sixty six thousand. Ah, I have just the thing. No, I don't want to use a ticket. Get the uh, rest of my outfit. It better be in here. Take that, I don't have it unlocked. I need to finish some, finish that quest at the front. It does unlock something, so there's that. Secure. 
Welcome, honored guest, to the Manderville Gold Saucer, where your wildest dreams are ever but a card or checkerboard's beak away from coming true. If this is your first visit, nothing would please us more than to give you the, give you a full tour of our, our establishment, that you might enjoy its wonders to the fullest. At the conclusion of the tour, it is our cus, custom to offer our esteemed patrons a complimentary gift, straight from the vaults of our illustrious profiteer himself. Consider it Lord Manderville's way of personally thanking you for your patronage. Should you wish to take the tour, pray proceed to the main counter over there and speak with the receptionist. On behalf of the management, may I take this opportunity to thank you for choosing the Gold Saucer. Rest assured, my colleagues and I will spare no effort in seeing, your, seeing that your visit as a pleasant and profitable one. May fortune smile upon you. Welcome, Traveler, to the Gold Saucer. This is the main counter where you can purchase tickets for the mini cockpot, acquire and redeem Mandeville Gold Saucer points, and much, much more. But what in the world are Mandeville Gold Saucer, po Saucer points, I hear you cry? A most astute question, and one which I shall only be too, too happy to answer. But first, if I might direct your gaze to the left. Beyond these majestic gates, you will find the find Chocobo Square, home to the Chocobo Racing Circuit. I, what Chocobo owners, what Chocobo owner has not dreamed of pitting their fleetest, fleetest birds bird against the realm's finest in, in a realm's finest in a pulse quickening dash for fame and fortune. Truly it is the sport of salt, sultans. And should you desire a more elaborate contest of strategy, you will surely find it in Minion Square, at the Lord of Vermilion Tables, where would be generals pit armies of minions against one another in battles for honor and glory. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Mandeville Gold Saucer Points. Put simply, NGP, as we call it for short, is the current currency by which dreams are bought and sold within these halls. But my associates here here beside me can tell you more, including how to go about acquiring him some MGP of your very own. Pray speak with him to continue your tour. Sir, so you're about to experience the wonders of the gold saucer for your f for the first time? How I envy you. Ah, but before you venture forth, you'll want to exchange a share of your gill for MGP, a service which is my great honor to provide. With MGP in your coin purse, you'll be able to enjoy all enjoy all the fabulous attractions we have to offer, and all the wonderful games. If you play with play them with skill, you'll find your little stack of points increasing 10, 20, even 100 fold. Now that you know the fundamentals, you're ready to step out onto the floor of the Gold Saucer. Your tour will continue at Card Square to the southeast. To the southeast. The card trader there will be your guide. I would, of course, be happy to exchange some of your guild for MGP before you venture on. While my associates and I strive to leave nothing unexplained, there's, there truly is no substitute for first-hand experience. And I heartily recommend trying your hand at our many amusements for yourself. Uh, I believe this is, a guy. This is the person. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest thing? Welcome to the Card Square, home of the Triple Triad Tables. What's Triple Triad, you ask? Why, only the mind-bending, pulse-pounding, madly Moorish game that's taken the realm by storm. But don't take my word for it. Behold! Can you not feel the tension in the air? Form a hand of five cards and play the role of a field general, sending your bravest into battle. Should you wish to learn the rules and experience the excitement for yourself, you need only ask. Start today and we'll even throw in some complimentary cards to help, help you on your way. You can face off against a single opponent at any time, or if you cra crave an even greater test of your skills, take part in one of our regular tourneys. And believe me when I tell you, there's no feeling quite like standing triumphant on the battlefield after vanquishing all comers. You really should try it. A minute to learn, a lifetime to master. That's triple triad. Ah, but I'm getting carried away. You have a tour to finish. Wonder Square is your next destination. Not that there's any hurry, of course. If you'd like to play a hand or two before you go, you need only but say the word. Uh, let's see here, it's over here. 
here. Good luck lost, honey. Why don't I show you around? It'll be nice to talk to a woman for, cha for change. Feast your eyes on Wonder Square. From gripping games and awe-inspiring attractions to the finest in fine dining and the freshest of refreshments. There's no end to the wonders housed within these halls. And let's, let's not forget the most wondrous of them all. El Colosso, as we lovingly call our mammoth cactar mascot, is the star of some of our most popular events. Suffice it to say, you won't want to miss them. Now, I know what you're thinking. With everything going on at Gold Saucer, how can I ever hope to keep up? But you needn't worry. My fellow gatekeepers and I will always be on hand to see that you don't miss a thing. For the continuation of our tour, I've been instructed to direct you into the waiting arms of my colleague, Velody, Velda, at the Cactpot Board. She's one of our most popular girls, and once you meet her, I'm sure you'll understand why. Well, ta-ta for now. Another leap of faith. Why, I think I shall. We'll continue the tour later. the Thanalan map. I hate this one so much. I have to get up there. And that is not as easy as it looks. Uh, this is not the map I'm used to. Or not the layout, I should say. Well, at least they didn't fall all the way to the bottom. This is, yeah, this is a layout I am not familiar with. Alright. There's the bronze, there's the gold, where's all the silver at? Well, that was easier than I was expecting. Okay. 
Okay. On with our tour. How many gold saucer points am I up to? 12,000. Ah, there you are, my darling. I've been waiting for you. I'm Velda, and I'd like to personally welcome you to, to Event Square, the most spacious of all the areas of the Gold Saucer. Event Square is a veritable cornucopia of pleasure and delight. Doubtless the si sizable stage in the middle of the, square has, of the square has caught your eye. That is the scene of some of our most sensational attractions, so don't be shy about taking center stage. And after the curtain has fallen, why not try cha changing your life forever? At the Jumbo Cackpot, all you need is a handful of NGP and a head full of dreams. Just choose four numbers and cast your hopes to the heavens. You never know just when, uh, just when Na Namiya will smile, da uh, smile down upon you. Now, as much as I've enjoyed getting to know you, I'm afraid it's time for us to part. The next and final leg of your tour takes you to Brown Square. Don't think too hard about the name, my darling. Even I'm not sh sure it's supposed to make sense. And I'll just drop down from here. First time visitor I was told to expect? A thousand welcomes to the Gold Saucer, and a thousand welcomes to Brown Square. How can a square be round, you ask? I'm not sure I understand the question. Moving on to more important matters, is that lofty peak not a sight behold is that lofty peak not a sight to behold? That is Mount Coral, the main attraction here at Brown Square. One of our most thrilling events pits our customers against each other in a challenge to see who can most swiftly scale its heights. I tell you, the view from the summit is a sight to behold. And that concludes your tour of the Gold Saucer. While I'm sure you're eager to start enjoying yourself, pray do not forget to return to the main counter and claim your complimentary gift. Alright. members. Welcome back, honored guests. I trust you've come, uh, come away from the tour with greater appreciation of all the gold saucer has to offer. As a token of our appreciation for your patronage, it is my great pleasure to offer you a complimentary gift from the personal vaults of our esteemed proprietor. 
will knock me down with a chuckabo's tail feather. Is that a new customer, I see? Aha, uh -huh. I could hardly have picked a better time to drop in for an abrupt inspection. But Master Roland, yes, this lady here has but moment, mo but this moment completed her introductory tour. Is that so? Well then, allow me to personally welcome you to the Gold Saucer. I am Roland, good, good madam, the fellow entrusted with overseeing the daily affairs of this fine establishment on behalf of our esteemed proprietor, a great man if there ever was one. You are an adventurer, ah, yes? Ah, your dress and bearing told me as much. I dare say, then, that on your travel travels you have seen, seen firsthand the difficulties which yet plague our nation. Witness the struggle of Alamigo's displaced masses, and those whose homes were consumed in the fires of the Calamity. The Sultanate is not, an unsympath he's not unsympathetic to, to their plight, of course, yet, I, yet how can I, one begin to provide succor to such countless multitudes? One man had an answer. Godbert Manneville had a dream, a dream of a house of untold wonders that would provide stable employment and lodging to the displaced mirth and merriment to the dis disconsolate disconsol eh, I cannot pronounce that word and prosperity to and plenty to the sultanate at large to many of our patrons the gold saucer is merely a orzia's foremost entertainment venue a place to forget about their cares for the day to me it is one of founding one of the founding stones upon which our realm will be rebuilt, a miracle wrought by the hand of wrought by the hand of the greatest man I have ever known. Something tells me you understand what that which I have told you, that you perchance share a similar dream. But I shall keep you no longer. The gold saucer and all its wonders await you, friend. Pray enjoy them to your heart's content. Till we meet again, may the spinner's pole ever be kind. That was luck. Now, oh, please tell me I can do this. Hmm. Why is the fashion report not available? This is curious. Is there not a soul in the world who can satisfy my need for style? Whose sense of finery raises her above the sea of mediocrity? Oh, why can I not? Why can I not? I don't understand. Huh. Well, let me do some research on this. Okay, I found out what I was doing wrong. Apparently, I need to talk to her. Fashion for fashion. I dress precisely as I was told. To receive such a dreadful score, not to mention the humiliating criticism, oomph. Hmm? You wish to know what's bothering me? That is well, that is well, for I wish to unburden myself. I've been having a frustrating time at the fashion report, the challenge that they, re they recently introduced. Yes, I, who can play any game here blindfolded and spun around, struggle with it. To be fair to myself, though, it has a subjective element. If you have a mind for fashion, perhaps you would like to try your hand at the challenge. Go to Warner Square and seek out, uh, seek out Masked Rose. Be warned, the barbs on that man's tongue have barbs on... But be warned, the barbs on that man's tongue have barbs on their tongues. <laughs> yeah... At that point, I buy a APU. Oh, a new challenger has come to put her stylistic sensibilities to the test. 
Welcome to the fashion report, good madam. Well, hi. Is everything quite all right? Yes, everything is ready. Excellent. Full glad am I here to hear it. Now then, I believe this is your first time participating in the fashion report. Allow me to explain the concepts and the rules. Fashion is a form of self-expression. What we wear without is a reflection of who we are within. Be it a conscious effort or no, the choice brings our individual individuality to the fore. Some folks are drawn to bright fabric colors. Others may favor a loose fit for comfort. And while tis true, tis well all, tis well and good to dress to one's prefer preferences. A man cannot prefer that which he does not know. The world of fashion is vast at times, daunting. But if we have the courage to take a step into the unknown, we may discover wonderful new ways of self-expression we had ever, had never considered. And just for no re other reason than to encourage folks to take the, that first step that I created this challenge, the fashion report. The rules are simple. I shall assign you a theme based upon based upon which you are to attire yourself the, to the best of your sensibilities. I shall then judge you and award you a score. Participating is free, and there is a host of fabulous prizes, prizes, prizes to be won, courtesy of Mandeville and Mandeville. If we should know the finer points of the game, my lovely assistant Kasumi shall attend you. Ah, she's from Doma as well. I look forward to giving you my un unadulterated, brutally honest evaluation of your fashion sense. Steal yourself and let me know when you're ready to undertake the challenge. And there we go. On off. Fashion report is now available. Thank you. Yeah, go away. Equip and equip. I set myself for judging. <laughs> Without further ado, let the judging begin. Take your place, my friend, and strike a pose. type of flowers you ask? My roses, of course. I have made, made my decision. Brace yourself. Should be above 80. 84. Thank you. You have done well. All the com parts come together as a harmonious whole. If I were to offer a piece of advice, however, you may, might consider adding an accent, a little something to punctuate the look and draw the eye. Here's your prize for participating. I hope this challenge has opened your mind to new possibilities and fashion. There's 10k. A little something extra. Ah, uh, there's 50k. So are you, are you satisfied with your showing? If you feel you can do better, I encourage you to try again. Looks like I missed uh, slices right. Slice is right is going on. Darn. 
I've never been able to successfully complete that one. Uh, prize claim, if you will. Can't use it though, it's level 50. Put them in my glamour dresser and finish my outfit. If I want to use that or not. No, I want legs and feet. Funny tights. And the pumps. Alright, edit glamour plate. That and that. Save current state. Yes, I will. Oh, that's not bad with the boots, but... Alright, there we go. I am done with the gold saucer, at least for now. There's probably some stuff I want to get. Uh, probably that mount. But, that's for next time. See you later, and may you ever walk in the light of the crystal.